Hey guys, my name is Synced Easy, also known as TJ. Most people who frequent my stream call me TJ. The whole point of this video is a kind of introduction to what I'm gonna be doing with um, the In the Mind Guide. That's what it's called. What I'm gonna be going over mostly is we're gonna start off with the basics and move into more advanced stuff as the guy progresses. For now, the next two videos you're gonna see are gonna be about like settings and play by play, but more stuff that you can expect in the future is going to be positioning, aim tips. I'm gonna be going over scrim footage. I'm gonna be going in depth mindsets about confidence being a better teammate. Most people know me as an IGL in Apex as well. So I'm gonna be going over a lot of leadership advice, a lot of leadership tips, how to be a good leader, how to be a good teammate. The whole guide's premise is pretty much about going a little bit more in depth of how I think about things and just how like most competitive players that play Apex. I also think that this guide is kind of going to be a little bit unique in the sense of I do, I'm gonna be recording a lot of my gameplay on stream. But yeah, I, I'll see you guys in the videos to come. I hope you guys stay up to date with the guide. Hopefully we get these out regularly. Have a great day, guys, and hope you stay up to date with the guide. All right, guys, welcome to the In The Mind series. I'm going to be going over the very basic of basic stuff right now. So we're going to go over settings, binds, sensitivity, DPI, all that stuff. So let's get right into it. So right now I have a new account, literally brand new, not even level 10 yet. And all my buy, only thing I did right now is only thing I did was my audio settings before any of this. So right now I'm gonna go over all my settings and what I use and how I use them. If uh, you, this is all preference again, like everybody uses different stuff. Like at one point I used no damage numbers, but now I do. Right off the bat, we got prompt style. I just put this to compact. I really don't know what it does. I'll be real. I think it's just information. Um, I less words, the better crosshair damage feedback. So a lot of people will use just X or shield icon. Um, this is very preference based and I mostly use off with stacking because I know what armor they have off my damage numbers colors and the less on my screen when I'm shooting somebody the better I use faded because pings get in the way of enemies a lot of the time obituaries are the top right as like all the kills in the top right and stuff like that I'll, I leave that on I do not use mini map rotation some people do it's preference weapon auto cycle on empty I leave on just because it really doesn't matter um auto sprint I use off if you're using auto sprint it messes up a lot of movement so I tend to keep it off. Some people leave it on. If you're using it, you're probably very used to it. I feel like with on, you're kind of limited on what you can do. Like sometimes you don't want to sprint. Like sometimes you want to like not make a lot of noise. So I think if you're looking to be the best at the game or the best you can be, you just leave it off. Double tap sprint uh, off incoming damage feedback. I normally leave this on 2D. 2D and 3D kind of just depends on like your depth perception and like how you perceive like stuff that happens. Like I rather just have an arrow telling me what direction I get shot from. So I leave it on 2D. I think 3D is more of like an actual like it tells you like it goes like up top, bottom, directional, like diagonal. It just like does a lot more, but I'll leave it on 2D. You obviously don't want your death box. You don't want your like loot to close when you're in a box. That's how you armor swap. So you always want this off. If you have it on, you're not going to be able to do some of the most like the more advanced techniques in the game. Streamer mode for me, obviously, I this depends what I'm doing. Anonymous mode will make it so your name is hidden. A lot of people all enable this. So when you die or like, let's say you're in you're playing like diamond games, even, even plat games, what it will do is it'll hide your name, your, like your actual name, and it will only tell them the character that goes down. So if you, you know, you're playing with regulars or something like that, it might be better to turn it on for your whole squad and stuff like that. It's really hard to know if a team is trading each other. Like for example, it's a 3v3 and you're gonna hit a third party. So if everybody has anonymous mode on in your party, it's really hard to figure out if people are on the same squad, especially in like pro games. I don't know if they're they're trading hard. You know what I mean? If I see a Wraith go down and then I see another Wraith go down, I know they're trading. But if I see a lifeline go down and a Wraith go down, I don't know necessarily which team that is from. So anonymous mode is actually kind of an advantage. You can use that. Um, performance display is just stats, your FPS, your ping, your packets. I always leave that on. Colorblind, some people use these. Uh, it's just preference, I don't use them. Mouse and keyboard and binds. I use 4.0 on 400 DPI with a thousand polling rate. That is my settings. My ADS sensitivity is 1.0. That means it's true to my 4.0 sensitivity. Does not does not change when I iron sight. All right. So we're gonna go in depth a little bit on sensitivity. A lot of you ask, a lot of you ask for it. So I'm gonna do it. Sensitivity is very preference based. It's based off of a lot of things. Overall, general individual opinion of what you like. For me in Apex, I like a higher sense because you're swinging your mouse around a lot. There's lots of movement involved. 
there's lots of random hectic things happening i prefer higher sensitivity although there's a lot of players who don't prefer higher sensitivity and they go for more overall like medium or lower now sensitivity is one of the most preference based things in gaming people always ask you your sensitivity and copying my sensitivity isn't going to make you play like me it never will you need to figure out your own sensitivity and fine tune your own settings to your preference it's very very simple what i did to find my sensitivity if you need help finding your sensitivity boom i got you that's what i'm here for so pretty much what you want to do when you're trying to find your sensitivity is you want to start with whatever you prefer do you prefer a higher sensitivity or a lower sensitivity do you not know if you prefer those sensitivities start in the middle what is a high sensitivity well there's it's numbers i mean you know if you're on 400 dpi and you're using like a five sensitivity that's probably pretty high it's probably going to be hard to control if you're using like a one obviously that's like towards the low low side start in the middle start at start at a two you know what i mean then you want to fine tune up by 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 so eventually you're gonna end up with a sensitivity that's fine tuned towards you and it's not going to be an overnight process finding your sensitivity and what you like it's going to take maybe a week maybe two maybe a month maybe three months you know like finding what I like in games took me a very long time. It wasn't just like an overnight process where I'm gonna use high sensitivity and then I slid the bar and boom, done. It took me a while and I'm a firm believer personally, different games require different sensitivities. So when I'm playing Apex, I'm on a higher sensitivity than if I'm playing Valorant or CSGO or Quake or like other games. I feel like Apex is more hectic than games like Valorant. When I picked my sensitivity, I took into account that what I'm gonna be doing with my mouse, how I aim, my preference, right? I use a lot of my wrists when I aim. The whole arm versus wrist type thing, good aimers use both. The wrist is used for minimal adjustments, very micro adjustments. The arm is used for very wide, broad um, turns. Everything that you do with your sensitivity is all based on how you play and your preference. So the more time you spend on yourself and less time on others trying to figure out why they use a certain sensitivity, the quicker, not only, not only are you gonna quickly find out what you like, but you're gonna quickly be able to push away all of the people that are telling you to do something when it's not for you. Explore, prioritize your own comfort. It's not necessarily about your settings or your aim or anything like that like all that will come to you you need to be comfortable when you're playing you need to be very comfortable when you're playing and i prioritize my uh, i prioritize my comfort over everything that's that's really all um we we'll go over binds my binds uh, once again all preference um jump i bind to scroll wheel down and spacebar some people double bind like this like up and down but spacebar is is useful for a lot of like very common jumps like you don't always want to be scrolling um everybody knows that plays with a mouse and a keyboard how hard it, it is sometimes to like scroll up and then scroll down and then your mouse will accidentally scroll like in the middle of a fight depending on the mouse you have like i use the zowie ec1 kind of it kind of can scroll up or down it's kind of a loose scroll wheel and i'm so used to that that like i only used it down i don't use toggle crouch but when you res at a beacon you might want to bind this to like something you can hit because when you res at the beacon, the only way to crouch on the beacon is if you have a toggle crouch but, uh, key. So I always put mine then on pad three. Um, I used hold the crouch on left control. Honestly, I just use all defaults. All this is defaulted. Everything is defaulted. Um, I use toggle ADS. Some people use hold preference once again. My melee is on mouse button four. Everything is pretty much defaulted, defaulted. Um, so... A lot of people bind their meds. Honestly, I probably should buy my meds, but the only thing I bind is my shield battery simply because when I'm in the middle of a fight, I always have my shield cells on my four key, which is like your preset on that wheel of heals that you have. I will have my shield cells always selected. Then when I have to hit a battery, I'll hit C. My syringes and med kits, I just select those when I need to use them. Character utility action. I am I, what does that do? All right, moving on. I, I use mouse five for inspect weapon. You see me flip my kunai a lot and stuff like that. That's what I use this for. Things I uh, leave all in default. Everything's defaulted. Default, default, default. That's pretty much binds. That's what I use. Preference. Video settings. Um, so all these are set from my other account. It just uh, transfers over. But um, my field of view is 100. Some people use 110. My brightness. I always turn up a little bit. I think if mine's at like 55% on my main account or something of the sort. Uh, you don't want your camera shaking everywhere. So I use minimal view shake. These syncs off. That should be off. 
texture budget i leave on low some people will go none i just leave it on low everything is honestly off the better performance i have the better the game runs the better i play so that's that audio is is uh compete like pc to pc basis it's always like different on everyone's pc and like what kind of sound mixture you have what kind of sound you're using headset you're using if you're using earbuds or not i have it to where it sounds good for me but a lot of people ask me why i don't you don't hear like the characters talking and why my game is so quiet and it's because i have dialogue this slider right here will turn turn all voice lines off if you slide it all the way down considering there's so many sound problems with the game already i feel like getting rid of all that random audio like sound audio is just the best so at least if I do have a chance to hear a footstep, I'm able to hear it by turning my audio off. So for the most part, that is my settings and NVIDIA settings. So a lot of people don't really know about this. If you have an AMD card, this isn't going to be for you. For me, I come over here, manage 3D settings. I'm just going to show you the ones I change because they're the most important. I leave everything on default except the things that I'm going to currently be changing. Low latency mode is on ultra max frame rate is off this is how you cap your frames in a game i let the game do that fixed refresh rate you always want your refresh rate to be fixed g-sync causes input lag power management mode i always prefer maximum performance which pretty much means that it'll always use the best performance possible when running a game like it won't bottleneck out because like you maybe your, your video card's heating up or something it'll always use it'll always push out the most performance and gpu usage it possibly can to make your game run good uh, preferred refresh rate is highest available obviously you always want to be using your maximum refresh rate vsync i this defaulted to use 3d applications but i just strictly just i just hit off i just leave it off completely and honestly that is all i change um resolution settings i guess i can show you i use 240 hertz this is my capture card you don't have to worry about that and then for my D digital vibrance, which is why some of you come to my stream and you're like, why is your game so vibrant? Um, I use 100%. As you can see, I think I can give a pretty good representation. Um, if I turn it down, it kind of takes all the color out. Even if I put it at 50%, it doesn't necessarily look that vibrant. Personally, I just use 100%. I've been using it for a very long time. A lot of people tend to go around the 70 to 80s range, which is probably what you guys would prefer, but I go to 100% command line so a lot of people will cap their fps so in apex there's a thing where the game kind of feels wonky and kind of clunky on anything above 190 fps some people don't have that issue some people do so i don't use any type of config because it's not allowed in competitive play so what i do is these commands right here uh plus fps underscore max 190 cast my fps at 190 it actually caps it at 189 in game and it makes my game just feel good low latency mode this has just been added i just set it to one because i already use ultra and plus adding this kind of the nvidia reflex that they added to some of the games kind of makes the game just like feel good it could be placebo it could not be i just i add it no matter what anyways and then um dash full screen will make it so your game will always be running full screen You'll, you never have a chance to accidentally be running the game on borderless window and that's literally all I use. So a lot of people ask me, that is my, they are my commands. And I almost forgot. So after you do the command line stuff, Origin itself has some settings that you definitely don't want on while playing this game. I have um, helper service off, um, diagnostics. Like I have a lot of this stuff off because of just me. But when you first, the, the biggest thing in this game, if you're using Origin, if you're using Steam, you don't really have to worry. The biggest thing you have to get rid of is all of this every single thing uncheck it because when this pops up when you're in game your fps will drop drastically no matter what if these notifications pop up while you're playing your fps drops by like 30 to 40. the only thing i leave on is game invitations also enable origin in game that is off always for me okay that's that let's load the fucking video game up